I used to hear these words like baryons, mesons, bosons, corks, and not really know what they meant. But I made this chart and it's helped me a lot, so now I'm going to go through it to help you learn what the different particles are. Wait, I forgot what atoms are. I forgot what elements are. Okay, we're going to start from the beginning. The sun is four-fifths hydrogen. Bandium and steel are what make your tools strong. Helium makes your balloons float. Sulfur is what makes skunks stink. But what are all these words? Hydrogen, helium, sulfur, they're elements, elements of the periodic table. There's 118 of them, and Dmitri Mendeleev organized them very nicely for us. That is hydrogen. It's an element made up of atoms that are all the same. Like the other elements all have atoms that are the same. This is part of Dalton's atomic theory. He postulated that atoms were indivisible, and though we now know they can be divided, the ideas that elements can mix to form compounds still holds. Things like the water we drink are compounds because they're made up of combinations of elements. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. Now we're going to take a closer look at the hydrogen atom. Rutherford slammed alpha particles at atoms and realized that most of them went right through. So he postulated that mass was concentrated at a nucleus. In hydrogen, this nucleus only has one proton and an electron circles the atom. But in helium, there's these things called neutrons too. And as scientists dug deeper, they realized that protons and neutrons were made up of quarks, up and down quarks, and a force held the quarks together. So they called the forces exchange particle a boson. Also, they realized particles weren't as simple as they thought. They started to notice wave quality. They realized that this meant that just like you can't say a wave is in just one spot, you couldn't say a particle is in just one spot. Then they realized that the electrons aren't just in one spot either. And rather than orbiting the atom, their spot was represented with a wave of probability. Scientists at this point had these things that couldn't be broken down, but just to see if they could find anything else, they started smashing particles together in a hadron collider. And this resulted in many more particles. And those particles got classified as elementary particles, including fermions and bosons. Hadrons, which are composite particles, are made up of combinations of fermions. So finally, for a recap, we went from element to atoms, to protons and electrons, to protons and neutrons and electrons, to quarks, to bosons, to a waviness, to the Hadron Collider. And that's particles.